Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the H3 Red Harvest Mark II. This is the H3 Red Harvest Mark II, and it is an unlock level 3 size class 1 hover vessel coming to us from creator Jerry Fanfan. The other day I showcased a design that was focused around a very central specific theme. And it just so happens that this design also has a very specific theme to it. Now at first glance, this may not look like much, and that is part of the intention. This is meant to be a simple, straightforward design that accomplishes a very specific task and does it well. So the core concept of the Red Harvest is for it to be an ammo-less killing machine. Basically to use it to kill early game enemies without having to resort to making ammo. To that end, it comes with 8 harvester modules total, 2 in the front which can be used for harvesting trees as well or running into enemies, and then sits on the underside. The cockpit itself is supported by the fuel tank, harvest cargo box, and generator, however it does have room underneath for some other things. This design uses some weaker hover jets, so you actually will only get a maximum hover height of 1.5 meters as opposed to the normal 3 meters. At 1.5 meters, you can sit on top of a group of crawlers and tear them to pieces. Other enemies such as alien bugs and spiders, you will have to lower your hover height a bit, but it still is the same concept. Most enemies will bunch up in a group right underneath the vessel, and that is where the harvester modules there come into play. Now the Red Harvest is again an unlock level 3 size class 1 hover vessel and it comes with only one fuel tank for a total capacity of 600 fuel. However this is plenty of fuel for running this around a bit, doing some killing or harvesting some trees for making biofuel. It does come with one oxygen tank, however it doesn't really need that because it has no need to fill it up and there is no O2 station on it. But because you do have the oxygen tank, you can always add an O2 station later, say underneath the cockpit itself. Now as I said, it has 8 harvester modules total and that is meant for the attacking method. The main focus will be of course first driving towards the enemy and then when they bunch up in a group underneath, sitting on top of them and letting the lower modules do their work. Obviously this is not meant for attacking armed enemies such as Xerats or the Mechanoids. It does come with one harvest cargo box, but no ammo boxes of course because it's meant to be ammo free. There's also no fridge, no food processors, and no mobile constructors, but if you are interested in making this where it can actually produce biofuel as you're out gathering up trees with it, just simply add a mobile constructor either underneath the cockpit or maybe on the back of it. Now one good thing about this is of course the resource cost with 102 copper being the most expensive part. With 102 copper and then 76 iron and silicon being the entire cost of this, it is very easy to make this early off once you hit unlock level 3. Now I'm sure some people are thinking, why bother with something like this? Well, while it does have an interesting concept, what really shines for me on this is the fact that first off it has such a low resource cost. This makes it a very quick and easy vessel to build early in the game, giving you increased mobility. On top of that, it allows you to harvest trees, which means you can make biofuel and be able to provide power for your devices until you start getting plenty of Prometheum. But the best part of it is the fact that it does follow with its core concept of being an ammo-free way of killing early game enemies. Killing enemies early in the game is a great way to get plenty of experience points and level up faster. This means you can get access to more technology quicker. And while you can always do this with shooting enemies, you are going to be required to make more ammunition. Using this design saves you from having to make ammunition all the time to go out and kill those pesky spiders and alien bugs that you encounter early off. And instead just let the harvest modules do the work for you and get you all the experience points. Once again, this is the H3 Red Harvest Mark II by creator Jerry Fanfan, and if you are interested in trying it out in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. If you try the design out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page for Jerry. 
Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.